four or five, maybe more, breaking in the clutch. It's in about 40 miles. So we have a long ways to go, but what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Boost Feed. Today, I wanna bring up a question I think a lot of young kids think about, I know I for sure thought about, and it's what is the best first car to get into as a car enthusiast? Now there's so many cars to get into. There's V8, there are V6s, there's turbo four cylinders. There's all these different kinds of cars to get into. There's manuals, there's automatic, you can get a DSG. I you can get a DSG, manuals. There's a bunch of different cars to get into. But as a car enthusiast, what is the best one to grab? So I'm here to tell you that Subarus truly are the best car for the money, for, your, for the value, for whatever you're going for. Subarus are the best car. Now Subarus are great cars to get into for multiple different reasons. They're super tunable, they're super buildable, there's a good community behind them, and the aftermarket support is enormous. If you're looking at an 02 to 07 generation, the two liter blocks, the EJ205s, they can easily make 260, 270 with possibly an upgraded turbo, full bolt-ons, which for a car like this isn't bad. Sitting at maybe a little below 3,000 pounds, that's really not too bad. The power to weight ratio is really good. It won't be the fastest car in the world. You might not beat everyone off the line, but it's fun to drive, especially with the five-speed manual. Now, if you grab one of the STIs, those come in at 300 horsepower right from the crank. So with full bolt-ons, upgraded turbo, and the famous STI six-speed, those cars will hold enormous power, upwards of 350, 400 horsepower, which in a street car is plenty. The STI six speeds is famous for being super reliable, super comfortable, super easy to drive. Now Subarus, they say, are like Legos. It's super easy to transfer parts over from one another. So if you buy, let's say, an 02 to 07, or let's say you buy like an 02 like mine, like Macy here, you could buy a donor car, pick up parts, you could buy ST STI six speeds, you buy a motor, you could put literally an entire STI drivetrain in the O2. Now, what they say is there's not a lot of fabrication. It should be pretty simple to do. Maybe a little bit of different wiring, but even then, I don't think so. I believe even the 2.5 liter block fits right into the engine bay. The STI six speed matches up. The drivetrain matches up. The STI Brembo's match up just fine. So if you're going for a big build where you want that STI, but you can't afford it immediately, you could easily get an 02, 03, 04, 05, whatever it is, any year generation, and slowly put in STI parts. Now for the community behind Subarus, it's enormous. The classic Subi wave I'm sure everyone's heard of. Some guys driving down the street with the same car as you, you have no idea who it is, but he gives you a good old wave and you give him a wave back. It's so much fun to do that. You have no idea who that is, but you just feel like you're part of a community. It doesn't really matter what cars you get into. There's always gonna be those guys who like think they know everything. But for the most part, the Subaru community is super helpful. They're super kind, they're super nice. It's just a bunch of car guys that have come together and enjoyed the uniqueness of Subarus with the boxer motor, its tunability, it's fun to drive, their cheapness. It's just a bunch of fun guys coming together and enjoying the cars. Now for the aftermarket support, it's enormous. If you're going for power goals, there's so many different types of short blocks, downpipes, exhaust, intake, stage one, stage two packages, intercoolers, anything you can think of, they sell it for the Subaru. Small things like interior bits, um, boost gauges, steering wheels, radios, shift knobs, door cards, they sell it as well. The good thing about Subarus is that the aftermarket support isn't super expensive. The thing with the Subaru aftermarket is that not only is there multiple different stuff to choose from, it's super cheap. If you look into uh, like the European aftermarket, such as Audis, Volkswagens, those parts can get really expensive and it's hard to keep up with 
you know, if you need a new downpipe for your S3 or S4, it's going to run you a thousand, two thousand dollars. Whereas with a Subaru, you can pick up a Calus downpipe for 300 bucks. The aftermarket support is enormous. It's super cheap. It's easy to get into. Subarus are super cheap. They're easy to buy. Now, every car has their problems. Subarus got their head gaskets. Uh, the five-speed transmission in them is known to be not very strong, but again, if you have good power goals with it, swap an STI six-speed, it'll feel like a completely different car. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful for anyone getting into cars. I'm still breaking in the clutch. We're sitting about 40 miles on it. I have a lot to go. I'm probably gonna get up to four or 500. So I'm just gonna keep driving it every day, keep working it, make sure it, it breaks in easy. Nothing, uh, nothing goes wrong, so I don't have to replace it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll be sure to keep making videos. I love making videos. I love doing mods. I love filming it. I love posting it, seeing you guys' reactions. I love all of it. So make sure to comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if I'm doing a good job. <laughs> so I can come back and keep making videos for you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.